Hi guys, Ace has gone to the vet. I haven't heard any news uh, yet, but she was looking um, really bad this morning. Her eyes are still um, quite bright, but she was stiff as a board. Completely stiff. Um, we've got another problem, uh, little Betty's not well. What you tend to find is that abandoned kittens, their mothers abandon them for a reason. It isn't just an arbitrary thing or they get lost. Uh, the mother has to make a decision about the most viable kittens and often dumps the poorly ones. It's litter box changing day to day. Well, we change the litter boxes completely twice a week, minimum, more if necessary. There's 23 litter boxes. I'm about halfway through and I'm soaked in sweat. I'm absolutely soaked in sweat. Rengo! Rengo! What's he doing over there? Rengo, I see you! I don't know what the fascination is with the road. Come on, boy! Good boy, Rengi. Come on! Quickly! Is that your quickest? See, there's cars on the road, lad. So the biggest room I have to do is uh, there's seven litter boxes, there's six cats in one room so the rule or law, I don't know whether it's an actual law or not, is you need one litter box for each cat plus one. So it's an absolute pain in the neck to do because it's not actually doing the litter boxes, it's getting in and out, carrying a large box um, without letting the cats out. If I let one of these cats escape, I'm a dead man. Bobby! Where'd Rengi go? There he is. What are you doing on the road? Rengo. Hey, Mr. Marengo. No, don't look sheepish. Don't look sheepish, boy. I caught you. Red handed. Red pod. I don't know where Betty is. We've been feeding her little bits all morning. Just little bits. She'll only take little bits. She's got terrible diarrhea. She's been treated by the vet and it hasn't helped. I don't know where she's going. Sometimes she hides under there. Not this time. So it's all a bit fraught here at the moment. And you don't help, Mr. Marengo. There she is. She's been doing this all day, drinking water, a little bit of water, and then having some food. The mess on her neck is where Tina was um, feeding her with a syringe and she decided that she'd had enough and just turned her head and at the wrong moment. But she's, she's too frail to make wet right now. So we can't bath her until something, until an improvement happens. There's nothing the vet can do because she's too small. They won't give her antibiotics because they say it will kill her organs. Because she's tiny, she's less than... Well, she's lost weight now, but she's about 280 grams. Come on, Betty. 
Don't cause us more distress, sweetheart. You stick in there, okay? <laughs>